this coming Shabbat, we read Parshat Nitzavim. We read the Torah portion of Nitzavim, a Torah portion in which Moses addresses the Jewish people for one of the last times in his life, in which he says, Atam Nitzavim Hayom Kochem, all of you are standing here today in front of me. All of you who are here and all of you who are not here. Those of you who are not yet here. Rashi, the 11th century French commentator and rabbi, explains that this is a reference to the Jews who are not yet born, to future generations. And it is a reminder that we as a Jewish community are together as one people in the future, in the past, and in the present, that we are a community, a family, not only here in Vancouver, but across Canada, and even in Jewish communities around the world. And so it makes sense that we are concerned for Jews, wherever they may live, and especially concerned about what happens in Israel. I know that we as a community here in Vancouver have been very concerned over the last few days about the advertisements run by TransLink on their buses and that have been placed on their train stations. And this concern is very valid. On Monday, I spoke with a vice president of TransLink, one of the people directly involved in the decision to allow those advertisements to be placed on the buses and on the walls of the train stations. And I expressed my extreme concern for these advertisements. I know that they are in a very difficult place, wanting to uphold the laws of the freedom of speech, as well as making sure that all of the people who live in the city of Vancouver feel comfortable riding on their buses and trains. And while I know that they made a difficult decision, I believe that they made the wrong decision. They made the wrong decision to allow these advertisements to run because I know that I personally and members of our synagogue and members of our community will feel uncomfortable and potentially not even feel safe riding on TransLink as long as these advertisements are running. I do have to say that in addition to what TransLink needs to think about in terms of the safety and comfort of all of the members of the Vancouver community, I have to question why these ads and why at this moment, right before the Jewish High Holidays. I do not believe that the advertisements that have been placed on the buses and on the walls of the train stations are an attempt to achieve what we want. What we want is peace. What we want is shalom, shleimut. What we want is wholeness. We want peace for Israel and for the Palestinians. We want people to be able to live in tranquility and to know that their children will be able to live in security. That is what we want, not only for Israel, but for all of its neighbors. These ads have been run for the sake of undermining Israel. There is extreme complexity to the Middle East. We know that at this moment, things are very bad in Syria and Egypt. We know that the history between Israel and the Palestinians is not easy. It is not something that can be explained on the side of a bus. I desire true knowledge. I desire true education to be given not only to Jews, but to our neighbors as well. And ultimately, I would love to see a day very soon when Israel and its neighbors are able to live in true peace. A few weeks ago, I returned from Israel. And I can tell you that things are incredible. Things are wonderful in Israel right now. 
And I was so impressed with how Israel is flourishing at this moment. I pray that Israel continue to enjoy this peace and this prosperity, and that its neighbors follow its lead. Thank you.